Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, World of Angel 88. There's John yeah. and he's gonna guest appear in this video because I just did an Instacart order and he didn't know. So he has no idea what I ordered, but he's bringing the lady just dropping them off and she got to go grab the two more. He does know this because uh, she just told him, but I ordered two packs of the 24 count water because we keep water bottles in the house. So once everything comes in, I'm gonna open the groceries in front of y'all with John so he can like I guess react to it because I did order some stuff that we never had in the house before I probably ate it before but we've never had it in the house and these are just um groceries for the week these are not my normal groceries to shop this is like stuff for lunch or quick dinners um so before you do that remember that we still have a house full of groceries I just need to re-up on snacks and things for us to eat for lunch just in case we don't have leftovers. So once everything comes in, I will let y'all watch with us. Hold on. Okay, y'all, so I did not do my proper intro. I'm sorry, proper intro. Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, World of Angel 88 or Simply Angel, your fave bug. And now we're gonna let John see what I bought. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, you gotta bring the bags over. So as y'all see right there, we have uh, some water. Bag number one. I got us some teriyaki noodles. So usually if it's one, it's two. I got us some Rattoni pasta, the tri-color noodles. One of my coworkers makes this bomb pasta salad. Would you agree it's bomb? I agree. And she gave me the recipe of how she makes it. So I had to buy the ingredients because this is going to be dinner one day this week. So I had to get the tri-color pasta. I'll let you know what's for that pasta salad. This is a first in this house, but I've ate them at work. This is the chicken creations, and this is the classic barbecue. So you could mix it in your noodles, or you could just eat it out the pack. Either one, I'm using mine to mix in my noodles. Can they see your reaction? They can see your face, okay. So y'all can see his in the moment reaction. I bought Manwich. <laughs> You've ate manwich so many times before since we've been together. Why did you look like that? Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah. Quit acting like he is now he acting for y'all. Cause he's ate manwich. Some tropical fruit. Okay. He's acting for y'all because he's ate manwich several times. Here's John's noodles, I guess. Or who else? I got these gummy Skittles. That feel like super big above size. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and then I got us some fruit and veggie fruit snacks. Fruit? And veggie. It's made with real fruit and vegetable juice. Okay, see? Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll see we'll, how that works out. We'll see how that works out. I bought some um, kosher dill pickles and some bread and butter pickles just to like snack on. Yeah. They're the snack on kind. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, the right. portable kind, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the, oh, I need a quick snack at work, let me eat, eat pickles. Right. Right. John likes to add these to his water. That works. Yeah, so, yes, I got the sun kiss um, orange. This is some strawberry cheesecake muffins. You can just add water or milk. And for those who don't know, you can actually make pancakes with these. Or waffles. But I like strawberry cheesecake. I need another pack. Right. You don't you, you say nothing about this strawberry cheesecake, Odessa. Oh, I mean savor, savor. Savor, savor. Next. I got some more tropical fruit. Like I told you, it usually comes in twos. John and I have been together 10 years. Mm -hmm. And we don't know how to share. You're right, because I only bought one pineapple. <laughs> then I bought these hint waters. I got um, water infused with watermelon essentials and water infused with blueberry and lemon. And like I said, everything comes in twos. So I got two of each flavor. What do you think about the hint waters? Hey, we're going to see how that works out. You like the Celsius water? Yeah, that's not carbonated water, is it? Celsius water? No, that right That's there. sparkling water. It's just got flavor. Oh, okay. It's not even sparkling. It's just water with flavor. This is for John as well. It's the all pink Starburst. 
Appreciate, you, appreciate you, big player. Appreciate you, big player. See, I bought stuff for think with him in mind. I ain't bought stuff for me. Yeah, you had yourself a mom with your pickles. Yes, I did. Those are my pickles. Um, this is the Italian dressing for that pasta salad I told y'all that I'm gonna make. I think I'll record when I make that too, because I record I made some pizza pasta bake. Pizza pasta bake yesterday, and John really liked it, and I did not record it. Um, these are snacks for to put in our lunch. One is the Cracker Barrel Vermont Sharps White and Gouda with the pretzels. Gouda cheese. Gouda cheese. Cheddar Jack and Harmony with butter crackers. Extra sharp yellow and extra sharp white with butter crackers. Thank so it's you. two cheeses in each one with the pretzel. So John has his three. I have my three. So these are the bougie snacks. <laughs> bougie is whatever you want it to be, sir. <laughs> they look very upscale. <laughs> I bought us apple pies. Yeah, we need some vanilla ice cream. I didn't buy that. Some stuff you can go buy. Like oh, the, right. the vanilla ice cream, the bread. I like spicy chicken alfredo, so this is one of my meals for work. And I like the buffalo chicken snackers, so this is one of my meals for work. This is for John. It's peanut butter cup. Chibani. Chibani. It's the flips. Because we don't eat plain yogurt. We have to have some type of in it. This is mine. It's s'mores. Hold on. John has to go cut off our baby's food. He's snapping and eating. That's the only reason we got a break to do this. This is John's other peanut butter. Um, this is mine. It's strawberry cheesecake. Uh, from this, you can also tell like where John and I's flavor palettes are. Strawberry cheesecake. This is I got a little bag. These are they were a dollar. This is for the pasta salad. I guess I should wait because John needs to see what kind of cheese this is because he's gonna say bougie. Let me grab another bag. He's coming. He's coming. Hold your britches, people. Hold your britches. He got a question to ask me. He ain't got no questions to ask me. This is the cheese. Okay. It's the Cracker Barrel. Extra sharp yellow. Yeah, I said good cheese. It's good cheese. It was a dollar though. It wasn't expensive. It was a dollar. I'm not going to say what type of cheese that is. But it's the good cheese. It's quality cheese. It's quality cheese. I got us Rice Krispies because that's a trademark in the Thomas family. We have, we have not had them in a while. I got us some Famous Amos Belgian chocolate. Shout out to my man, Famous Amos. This, you haven't had the Belgian chocolate yet? No, I've had the Belgian. It, I've had the Belgian chocolate. I like it a lot. I had the chips of chocolate chip cream. Um, strawberries and cream, which is mine. And then me and him both got blueberries and strawberry. So we can't eat breakfast in the morning. Because I think we both kind of run out of here and don't eat breakfast. I need a bag. Remember, this is just stuff for the week. I get paid on Friday, so I would do like my big haul of grocery shopping probably. Skip those. No, get the skip the wood. I already did it. That's the bag I'm open. Yeah. Mm, Dogs with an R. I had what? Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. this is for me. Some Pope Brown. Pope Brown. Pope I want a barbecue flavor that ain't had none, so I'm going to put some hot sauce on these. You make about. Yeah. Okay. What you got to say? Yeah. You don't eat hot sauce on your Pope Brown? No, just eat Pope Brown. I eat pork rinds. I usually get barbecue flavor, but if I get plain, I just throw some hot sauce on. People, you can be married or be with a person for like 10 years. It's not an everyday thing. I pop ate... up, you just find out. <laughs> no. oh, so it's, an That's, thing. it's not an everyday like, thing. I used to eat pork rinds when I was a child. And my mother used to eat them a lot. May she rest in peace. And then she passed that habit down to my sister, right? Since then, you know, 2022, my sister's gotten way better. But um, I say all that to say, if that ain't from country, well, I'm trying to tell you. So I will say this: I you have, know what? I have I eaten, I, you for I have reason. eaten pork rinds in our relationship for ten years. He might not have noticed they were pork rinds, and I don't eat them often. It's like a 
twice a year type thing. And I was craving pork rinds. Nonetheless, I got two bags of seasoned, flop, seasoned fries because I do plan on making um, sloppy joes this week. And I plan on making chicken tenders, um, but like putting barbecue or whatever sauce on them. And these are usually the sides that go with that. I also got broccoli with cheese. These are the steamables. You know what something I liked about you all this Boy, time? you like something about you like about me. Give me another bag from your, over here sipping your water out of that mug. <laughs> with your country self. How about we sophisticated? You country. We both a little country. Right. All right. In this bag, this is John. Um, this is chicken Alfredo Florentine. And this is fettuccine Alfredo with chicken and broccoli. These are both for him. These are mini cucumbers, and that goes into that pasta salad. But then I'm also, I eat these as snacks. I cut them up and eat them with ranch and usually cheese. So, yeah. But I got mini cucumbers. Remember, it's for the week. So, it probably won't be here at the end of the week. I hope you didn't put them in a deep freezer because you know I got to organize it. This is mine. It's spicy chicken Alfredo. And then this is the other cheese for the pasta salad. Did you see the other cheese? The good stuff, folks. Mm -hmm. We moved on up. And then this is also mine. It's a s'mores. And the reason why I have four and John has two is because John will tell you he won't eat four or five of these. And this is just for the week. His will go bad expire where I will eat them every day. He got two, so I know those two would get eight probably Monday and Tuesday. Next day. Tell me where about you. Where you get off? Don't waste your money on these people, man. This is John. He likes the taco bites. I like the spicy buffalo chicken kind, so that's John. These are the chicken tenders for this week. It's the Tyson uh, crispy chicken strips. And then this is the broccoli to go in that pasta salad that I was telling y'all about. So the pasta salad has broccoli, tri-color, rotini noodles, Italian sausage, pepperonis, cucumber, and she adds green peppers to hers. I didn't get green peppers because that's just not a fan favorite in the Thomas household. It's good when she added, but that's not something that we put in our food a lot. Um, and that's the pasta salad, so. Well, that's the stuff. Pepper. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll eat it with stuffed pepper, but just like to have it and cook with it, that's not something normal. I got us two chicken fried rices. And if you didn't notice, we like... Where you going with your bun? They already seen you drink out of it once. If you ain't even noticed, we like these little donuts. They work good for us. Come back. You gotta... They work good for us. And just, if neither of us feel like cooking, they cook. We got stir fried rice and vegetables. And then we got beef and peppers. So it's your beef and peppers. My beef and peppers. My stir fried vegetables. Your stir fried vegetables. My chicken fried rice. Your chicken fried rice. And then another buffalo chicken for me. I get up so early, y'all, that I eat breakfast at like 8 a.m. And then I turn around, or I eat breakfast at 5 like legit five and my lunch time is between eight and ten so that's why it may look like i have more food than john's because i actually have to i'm at work a lot earlier than him um got some brown chicken for our man which i won't use both of these but i got brown chicken um i also got some ground turkey just case i'm gonna do like a hamburger helper or something and then I got some chicken thighs as another little filler meal um, for this week. Just in case you know that. Can't go wrong with thighs. Bro. Right. Well, you we can, but John likes thighs, and I was taking my husband. Yeah. Why am I with mini pepperonis at? And then I got us some Sunny D. Cause we like Sunny D. We haven't had it in a long time. We got Sunny D. It does not look like she bought my mini pepperoni, so I gotta go through my list again. Uh, or my, what she couldn't find. 
But John can always go to the store and give me the pepperonis. And if y'all don't know, we a chip family. We eat chips. We like chips. Chips is good for us. We like chips. Tell her to quit trying to influence me to do stuff. Do stuff like what, John? Come to third. I please you. I love you. Good bitch. Get off me. So, yeah, John's going to have to go to the store to get mini pepperonis, hamburger buns. What else you got to get, babe? Mini pepperoni, hamburger buns. I think that's it. I might send him to get some hot dogs too. I don't know, but I know for sure we need mini, mini pepperonis, like the little small ones, because I don't want to do big pepperonis. I have to cut them up. But yeah, do you want to tell them about my pizza pasta bake I made? Because that was his first time having it. It was awesome. I give it a ten out of a ten. Uh, I'm probably going to try to replicate it. Truth be told, I was actually thinking about doing something like that, only except with uh, Texas toast and a bunch of other uh, ingredients. Which I've done that before, too, where I made the pasta with the toast at the bottom. But, yeah, I'm going to include a picture of my pasta bake for y'all so y'all don't feel exclusive. <laughs> And the next time I make it, I'm going to include y'all. I just have not been up for recording. If you haven't seen my last video, I talked about my postpartum depression and just where I have been mentally. And this has just been one of those times in my life where I have been a nagging, can't do nothing for self person. And I got another diagnosis with something going on with my spine and some coverage in my spine. So now I'm on a 10 day stop it. <laughs> I'm on a 10 day steroid prescription and I could possibly have to get spinal injections so it's just been a lot so as I've told y'all before and I'm gonna tell you again I'm gonna keep telling you I'm not gonna record if it's going to be fake it's not who I am um John and I actually went out for Valentine's Day <laughs> and I can include pictures of that but I didn't record because that wasn't a good day for me like, emotionally, that wasn't a good day for me. I cried a few times. Um, Mother Nature was not on our side. And my husband planned a wonderful massage for us that we couldn't do because Mother Nature was not on our side. And so it just was an emotional day for both of us. But we're still going to do our massages. It's, it was cold. It was cold. And it rained. And it rained. And then my cycle came on super early. And I was in some slight pain. But we still were able to go out to eat. We exchanged gifts. So, I got to get a picture of you, your gift. But I will include pictures of our food and our gifts. And hopefully, when we do go get our massages, because they're a different type of massage, um, I'll be able to record. But again, if I ain't in the mood, I ain't doing it. That's, what, that's my philosophy for 2022. And I will hope all other YouTubers take this thing up. Fake recording and that falsification that life is perfect is for the birds. <laughs> I'm about the reality of things over here. And reality was, your girl has not been copacetic mentally, so why fake the funk? Okay. Um, I'm going to let y'all watch me put this stuff away, kind of, sort of. I think I might not, honestly. Maybe the cabinet stuff. The freezer stuff, that's too much of the movement of the camera. But I'll let y'all see how I organize my cabinet. Um, here are the pictures I was telling you about. And then we're just going to go ahead and fast lap into me getting the cabinet organized. Get with y'all in a second. All right, this is my beginning, and as y'all see, we really didn't need like grocery groceries. Legit, like I said, we just needed stuff for the week. So yeah, now I'm about to speed this up as I organize this. Make sure y'all check the expiration date on stuff. Um, in case y'all forgot, we had a child in the hospital. So, a lot of times, 
we had stuff that expired while we were in the hospital. And we just ain't never. We just could be moved. I don't think I ever opened up and told y'all that part either. We moved while Johnson was in the hospital. Here, Johnson, you can grab this. I don't want to throw this. We moved while Johnson was in the hospital into a bigger place. <laughs> Still in the same apartment complex, so that's why the uh, um, apartment looks all that stuff on it is expired. That's why all the that's why the apartment looks the same. But we moved into a bigger place. We moved into a three bedroom versus the two bedroom we were in. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I have bought new groceries, of course. Um, but some stuff that I know, like I just keep overpassing. Ow, Mr. Women. Some stuff I know I keep overpassing. Is because I knew I needed to check expiration dates on stuff. And this is usually the time that I do that, especially now since I'm at a point where I'm cooking a lot more. Um, I had, again, like I've talked about, I went to postpartum and I stopped cooking. John is already the primary cook in our marriage anyway, but uh, when that kicked in, she wasn't cooking nothing. And so now I'm back to what I, I I'm back not to what I love because I hate cooking. But I'm back in a place where I can't keep nothing on the shelves. That's why I'm back at. I'm back in a place where I'm cooking more and I'm enjoying it. I'm not just cooking to say I'm surviving. I'm cooking because I enjoy doing it. So, um, I'm not annoying my son either, y'all. John is back in the house. He's over there with him. He just went to get the trash. Jonathan's getting the breathing treatment. There's nothing wrong with him. Just in case y'all are wondering. Um, but yeah, so that's what you see me doing over here, going through stuff, checking expiration dates. Because you should do that regularly anyway, because you just never know. Um, especially with your canned goods. Like, canned goods are in here for a reason. I can honestly say all these canned goods that are in here currently, I have recently bought. None of these are old canned goods. They were bought within the last two to three grocery hauls um, that I didn't record for y'all. <laughs> But yeah, so all this stuff in here is pretty good. Well, not pretty good. It's all in date. Don't expire until the end of this year. Or some don't expire next year. But they'll be eaten well before next year. So that's one thing I don't have to worry about. So yeah. Make sure y'all check y'all canned goods. I don't know what that sounds like. I just realized my back is too young. I apologize. But yeah, make sure y'all check y'all stuff. Okay, back to the speed of the music. this has ever happened to me so you know on the box it tells you how many you're supposed to get trust get four lays i got six at six lays then i like fritos like i like the chili cheese fritos i was supposed to get three i only got one so i guess that's why i got extra lays um we got the three barbecue we have five doritos we got five Cheetos, three Funyun, five regular Fritos. So I didn't get the chips that I necessarily bought it for, but they made up for it, but that's the first time for me. <sighs> so yeah, but um, don't be a hater of Fritos because we use the Fritos here to make walking tacos. So yeah, that kind of bothered my spirit a little bit, but what can I do now? They didn't have like an alert or nothing. Okay, back to bed.
probably bigger than this. Like try to crackle screw. They fooled me. I thought it was gonna be bigger than this. Huh? I thought it was gonna be bigger than this. They don't wanna be like big gummies. They can see you eat that. They don't know if you ate it for real. <laughs> I had to grab two more random flavors that I didn't have. <laughs> this is a cool little snack to snack on. A gummy out version. Let's get Yeah. It's a cool little snack on. Yeah, I ain't bad. Oh, yes, I had already opened my quartz one. I say, let me not put him on blast. I'll still put him on camera. Are we doing the Walmart challenge this week or next week? I think it's next week. Next week. Next week we're gonna do the Walmart challenge. Okay. Thank you. You need a public record or something? Mm-hmm. Next week. <laughs> I'm not heard you like this. We're doing the Walmart challenge where um it's a list like favorite drinks, favorite thing. This is how well your partner do. And I'll record that for y'all. Um, I don't know when y'all are see. I don't know when y'all will see. Come put this water on the ground, please, sir, while you're there stealing Cheetos. Um, I don't know when y'all will see that, but I will record that next week for y'all just to see some cute junk for y'all not to do. Um, see, if y'all see my poodle back here, my beautiful sorority sister bought that for me. I don't know where I'm putting her yet, so that's why she's just sitting on the kitchen table. Um, it's for her. But nonetheless, let me close out this video so I can edit it for y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you like what you see, make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend because I want to show me with the world. If you do not have subscribed, my little face is kicking over there somewhere. And I'm sorry for all the rubbish in the back. You know I'm recording. And if you have not seen my last video, it is kicking it over here. <laughs> Remember, we're going to be great in 2022. See y'all in my next video. Bye.